So video content management. So we're going to go through um, a little bit uh, of the, uh, you know, the past, present and future of video content management management and of MarTech. Um, so one of the most common things, and Victor, you, you know this as well, because you're a consultant, you go into companies. Hey, what percentage of companies have on, you know, on-premise solutions? What, how many of these storage cupboards of, of, of hard drives have you seen in your day? Many. I, I remember some years ago, I got sent uh, 24 brown cardboard boxes full of tapes and CDs, all with TV commercials for Unilever TVCs going back all the way till the 1960s. Uh, and they all arrived like a week before Christmas. Um, so again, this is quite a common thing. Now, obviously, companies are, are evolving and progressing, but there are still very much pockets of this that exist. And as organizations go through a different maturity, there's, there's always a sneaky hard drive lying around somewhere. Um, you know, it's it's a very <laughs> an inclination to kind of keep hold of these physical objects. Yeah, I, you know, I think that one of the things that really um, accelerated uh, shutting down these uh, these these cupboards full of hard drives was the pandemic, because it was no longer possible for for anybody to walk down the hall into the storage cupboard to go rooting around for that content that. That had that had been put in there because we weren't in the office, and for two years we weren't in the office. So so all of a sudden there were the, the you know workflows started to migrate to the cloud. Uh, there were a lot of workarounds, and we'll talk about that in a second in terms of you know the present. And now what we find is people are trying to figure out okay well what are the actual you know the the, the full time solutions that we can be looking for, not just the workarounds. And it's and it's happened very quickly. It's happened very, very quickly. Um, and you know, I, just a, a quick story as well about how Overcast got started. Um, if we go back to uh, 2015, what happened was we were working, uh, my partner and I, uh, CTO Jolt Lorenz and I were working with a, um, a streaming company, streaming content into North Africa. And we had bought some content from Fox. And we thought, okay, well, the contents, uh, the, the contents in LA, we were based in Dublin and we we're going to start streaming into North Africa. Of course, we're going to use the cloud, right? It just makes sense. But we couldn't actually, the format of the content that we were buying, we couldn't get into the cloud and transcode. We could only do that transcode on premise. So it turned out we actually flew to LA, picked up the hard drives, flew back to Dublin, transcoded them on premise, and then uploaded them to the cloud. How crazy, crazy is that? But that's, well, take, that's actually the way, and you know what? It still happens today. It still happens today in the in 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 uh, media companies all over the place because because it's the the the, the systems and the and the and the, and the solutions for managing content, uh, especially video content in the cloud, um, are very very new, 